currently getting ready for the day and I just did a little bit of skincare, which I should have waited to do my skincare until after I'm put on a little acne patch because I do have one little breakout and I'm like, my skin's been so good. I just have like a bunch of um, pigment and scarring, but I've had like no breakouts on my cheeks or anything. And I'm so happy about it because I've been struggling with my skin for a while. And I have these Peace Out Acne Day Dots that I'm going to put on right now, just on that one little spot because I want to treat it throughout the day rather than have it get, I don't know, more irritated. And I feel like when I wear these, I don't touch my face. Like I just like kind of put one on and I forget about it. And I really love these for acne, the piece out. They have day dots and they have night dots. I'll actually show you guys the difference because the night ones are a lot more thicker because it's more of like an intensive care than during the day during the day they still work amazing and you can wear like makeup over them and they're like basically invisible on your face so it allows you to wear them all day which is really nice this is the difference these ones right here are the day dots and then the ones on the right are the night and i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but okay, you kind of can <laughs> these are much thicker than these these are just perfect for during the day because they are literally invisible on your face I wish I did my skincare after I did this, but it's okay. It's still gonna work. I just waited a little bit for like my moisturizer and stuff to dry, but I didn't put on sunscreen just yet. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I like to hold it down on the spot just to make sure it's really stuck on there. There. You literally can't even see it so and then you can go about your day you can put makeup over it which is really cool i've actually done that before and you really don't even notice it and i can link these down below if you are interested i really love them and i just love how invisible they are for during the day because i know how hard it can be like having breakouts and like wanting to either cover it up with makeup but not want it to get worse um but this way you are treating it and then you can also cover it. So I'm just gonna apply some of my sunscreen. This is a tinted sunscreen. Okay, I just want to show you guys in the light a little bit better that you literally can't see the patch of my skin. And I just love how you can keep these on all day and they have really great ingredients. They have hydrocolloid, salicylic acid, aloe vera, and vitamin A, which is really going to help your blemishes and just help penetrate the skin and clear your acne while also soothing it and just giving you clearer looking skin. <laughs> my tinted sunscreen on so I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer this is the milk I'm in the shade 8c which I got like a color match done so this is like the exact shade that matches my skin and I just put a little bit on my hand and I like to use a tiny Sephora brush this is the this is for eyeshadow but I've been using it for 
concealer and I kind of just like dot it on all the places that I'm trying to cover. So I haven't covered obviously right here. That's where my pimple patch is and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to just cover right up with some makeup. You literally don't even notice. I'm gonna leave the concealer on just for like a minute because I like to let it kind of dry on my face before I go and just like buff it out already looks so much better. I'm just gonna use the extra from my hand and just add some to my under eye. Okay, and then I will just take my finger and I like to just blend out all of the spots that I put the concealer on. And I kinda like to just like tap around in like a circle. So it's not like moving the product, it's just kind of like diffusing it, making it look more natural. And one tip that I do have, I put the concealer on my hand and then obviously used a brush to apply it. And I do that because I used to just take the applicator, like the wand and put it right on the places that I wanted to cover. But when I had active breakouts, it was contaminating the wand so then I threw away all my concealer because I was like it's all contaminated and just probably has like bacteria in it and then I bought brand new product and it's helped my skin so much along with a bunch of other things but that's just something that I've been doing that I've done recently that I switched up and just gonna add a little bit of eyebrow gel this eyebrow gel is so good benefit 24 hour brow setter. I started using this like years ago because my sister showed it to me and I really like it. I think I have the Revi one. Yeah, this one that everybody's obsessed with. But I just like, I don't know, I don't think my brows are fluffy enough for it. Or maybe I just like haven't used it correctly. But I do like this one also. I just like love, I think I love watching people use it. That's what. I like most and then I'm gonna do some blush. I'm gonna add this to the back of my hand also and then just take a little blush brush. This is Say Beauty in the shade Rosy. It's crazy like what a little bit of makeup can do for your mental health because <laughs> at first i was like oh my god it's so cold out it's sunny today but it's cold and i'm like i'm just such in like a winter mode and i feel like nothing looks cute i don't have any self tanner on i was like starting to really get in my head but no we are all beautiful even in the winter and even with no self tanner on and all you need to do, add a little bit of blush to lighten up your face. Light and brighten. Mm. I'm trying to think if I should add bronzer. I'm gonna add a little bit. We're gonna do Patrick Ta. She's sculpted. I just like to tap the product into my skin. And I've been using Brush versus Beauty Blender lately. Because Beauty Blenders also, no matter how much you wash them, have so much bacteria. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of setting powder. Just, I'm gonna put it on the places where I put concealer. 
mostly. Okay, we're good. And then finish it off lightly. I'm trying not to get the blush, <laughs> my extra blush everywhere. Lightly curl the eyelashes. Perfect. And I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit of mascara. This is the Say Mascara 101, my favorite. I've been using it for three years and I just love it so much. Light, natural, and you can't even see my little pimple patch. <laughs> I Emma just got here to pick me up. Quick little outfit of the day. This sweater is from Jenny Kane. I'm wearing a size extra small. I love their sweaters. They're such great quality and they're so soft. I'm gonna probably get more because I just really love the fit of this. Little sneak peek, these pants are actually mine from my Revolve collection. These white drawstring parachute pants. I love them and they fit so well. They're literally amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see the whole collection. So, little sneak peek and I'm probably just gonna wear Adidas Sambas with this, but always just wanna stay comfy, but still be really cute. Okay, the weather took a big turn. It was really, really sunny earlier, and now it's like looking very gray. But Emma and I just got done shopping. Oh my gosh, it was such a long day. We went to lunch, and then we went to the mall, went to Saks, Aritzia. We walked around for a really long time, and we got a bunch of stuff because Emma's going away on a trip tomorrow, so. We picked up some jeans and shirts and that trench coat. Mm -hmm. A Goldie jeans, redone jeans, a couple redone t-shirts, and a trench coat, which are really cute. You guys will see in Emma's vlog if you watch Emma's videos. Mm -hmm. But we just left them off. And we're gonna circle back around because we are gonna go to a few more stores before we go home. Look. Emma with her new suitcase. I like that bag, it's really big. I know. It's so cold out, I took off my jacket. Oh, we have one more stop and then we can finally go home. I'm literally so tired. continuing off the vlog today because I was like you know what I need to show the packing process since Emma has me come over and help her pack whenever she's going away and I just feel like for me it's like super easy to put together outfits and I don't I like really like doing it so I don't mind coming over and helping her so I'll show you guys actually what we picked up yesterday she got this trench coat from Saks it's the brand theory and I really love how it's like a gray color. And then these are the different outfits. So she got this sweater yesterday from Jenny Kane. That was the one I was wearing yesterday. And to go with these jeans from Redone, they're really cute. And then this bag right here. And then a pair of sneakers. And then this outfit right here is for dinner. This That's her wine tasting outfit. <laughs> and then she has a dinner outfit, which is for when she's in Napa. And we have these heels right here, brown, cute heels, a white tank top from a Goldie that's ribbed, and then the Mesa Margiela jeans that I've been wearing a lot lately with the slits on the side. They're like very, very high-waisted cinder waist and they're baggy. And then brown Bottega bag and this vintage leather bomber. And then this outfit, is just a pair of a Goldie like cargo jeans. And this t-shirt right here is like a redone Hanes 
t-shirt with black bag, black shoes, and the trench coat. And then we have this outfit for one of the games. Those are, what are those again, redone? Mm -hmm. With the redone t-shirt, which are really cute. And then she can just wear a pair of sneakers with those. And then we have travel outfits, brulee, aloe, etern, yeah, wardrobe NYC. Yeah. And then these are gonna be her travel sneakers, the New Balances, with sweatpants, trench coat, and New York hat right here. So that is everything that we have packed. <laughs> and Emma's gonna pack it all up in her new little trunk. I just got home, I got a really exciting box in the mail, which I thought we could do an unboxing. I just opened up a package from Colt Gaia, which is one of my favorite brands. And they sent me a few pieces from their spring collection. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, I love this. I got a bikini, this white one with these pearls on the side, which is such a cute detail. I love this. And then what is in here? And then they also sent me these sunglasses, which are so cool. I cannot wait to wear these. I need like a warm trip <laughs> as soon as possible because I am like so pale and just so sick of this weather here. But these are so cute. Thank you guys so much for sending these. And we have my sleepy little baby. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? Okay, hey guys, I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I'm gonna try to get some editing done today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and follow me on Instagram. I always have it linked down below and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.